I'm Lori Reynolds. I'm here today with Zephyr, and I'd like to teach you how to teach your dog to sit. I'm a clicker fan, uh, so you're going to hear me using a clicker, and you don't have to use one. You can also just use a marker word, a word like good or yes. I prefer yes. It's a little bit shorter. Um, what I'm going to do is teach you the steps all the way from the beginning through the end so that you can have a nice sit. So the first step is to get a few treats in your hand, and we're going to use Loring for this. All we're going to do is take that treat, give it back up a little bit, take that treat, lift it up over his head. The instant his rear end hits the ground, we're going to click and release that treat into his mouth. Let me get him out of the picture a little bit so that he comes back and we can start over. Sit. Boy. Boy. Okay. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. A couple of problems can, can occur when you're trying to teach this to your dogs. If your dog gets his paws off the ground and doesn't sit straight, you're probably holding that treat up too high. As you can see, he'll try to get up and paw at it. Good boy. And for a dog that just backs up, you're holding the treat too low probably. So if they just keep going backwards instead of actually sitting their rear end on the ground, you're probably holding it too low. If you just bring that treat just up a little bit, then they'll sit down. All right, now that we've done the first step, boy, I'm going to drop that lure and just use the hand signal. Since we've lured this trick, this is a natural hand signal. Um, to show them the same thing as what we did with the tree. And so that is a good hand signal to use for sit. So we're going to use the hand signal on the verbal. Sit. Good boy. Good. And I didn't click that because I don't want his paw on my leg. I'm going to start tossing his treats for him so that he gets a little bit further away. Sit. Good. Sit. Good boy. I don't actually want those paws on my hand, so I'm going to try that again and try not to get his paws on my hand. Sit. Good boy. And that just means moving my hand a little bit further away from him. Good. Once you have it pretty good on stimulus control with your verbal signal and your hand signal, sit. Good. Then you should be able to use one or the other. So you should be able to use either a silent cue, good boy, or you should be able to use just the verbal cue. Sit. Good boy. And there you have it. 